Hello, ladies and gentlemen, vapes and games here. Welcome to another democratic video for democracy. We're going to be checking out, obviously, you know why you're here, Helldivers 2. It's, uh, it's a bit of a beastie game. Such a simple idea. Oh, beautiful. 40 medals. Well, we'll take... Oh, 45 medals. Holy shit, let's go. So, we're playing here on the PS5. The home of Helldivers. I know it's also available on PC. I have tried it on both platforms, but... I currently do enjoy gaming more on my PlayStation. It's uh, less stressful, less stuff to set up, configure, balance out performance-wise. As streaming, recording, everything on the same PC, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, so... I do prefer just to kick back on my PlayStation. You whack the game on, you start it, it's just nice and easy. Easy life. Easy life, you know what I'm saying? That's what we want, guys. We don't want no stress. We don't want none of that. So what we're going to do is, we're going to be checking out the latest patch today on Helldivers. And we're going to make it a little bit interesting. So we're going to disable crossplay. And we're going to change matchmaking privacy to friends only. So we're essentially going to be seeing what it's like on a bit of a solo bolo run. So we don't want to pick anything too taxing. So we will try. Oh, actually, that will be a bit of taxing. Uh, uh, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We're going to try and thin them termid numbers. Just gonna see. Motivational reinforcement. The automatons are lifeless, emotionless, hateful socialists. They've murdered innocent families. They've ravaged Malvalian Creek. Worst of all, they've threatened our way of life, all without provocation or cause. Save a hard coded hatred of freedom. Save our citizens. Save managed democracy. Annihilate the automatons threat once and for all. So that's uh, motivational response. That's our dispatches. And currently we have Ion Storms, which were in the patch notes. They've kind of reduced down the level of uh, how long they last and stuff like that. How this is going to go on a solo run, I have no idea. But we're going to try it. We're going to try it because playing solo before was quite literally impossible. Um, was quite literally impossible. I mean, there's no other way of putting it, really, guys. But I am interested because there are some people that do enjoy these type of games alone. Me, personally, I like playing in groups. But for the sake of this video, we're going to check it out. We're going to see what's going on. I am only level 20. So, I'm not a full certified hell diver yet. We are working on that. I have pledged my life to the cause and for democracy. And we are going to do our best to become a full fledged hell diver. So, first thing we're going to do here is get our guard dog quick. And it's looking like it's kicking off already. So, we better get our orb laser going. Um. Oh, we're never going to be able to even get up and running here. So we're going to whack this one straight out. Oh my god. So we're already taking attacks from multiple sides here. We're going to stim up. And we're going to... Oh shit, I picked up a shotgun, which I didn't really want. I've got our stalwart back. Now, they have made some adjustments to the heavy machine gun and the stalwart. They've lowered the RPM slightly. It kind of is noticeable. Uh, it kind of isn't. Like, it's not majorly bad. So, I think on this mission, we have just got to exterminate the zeal bugs. It's kind of like a bit of a defense mission, but kind of like in reverse. Nevertheless, I do not think this is going to be... A straightforward task even for a semi veteran hell diver like myself but we're gonna see what we can do here see if we can do it without dying probably not we could try though god loves a trier Morning, you are leaving the mission area. Well, apparently we're leaving the mission area well, that's not good is it so 
We're going to get a good position here. Oh, my God. We can't even climb up. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you count when you call it in your stratagems like I do, like, you know, like you've got OCD, let me know. I do that all the time. I'm like, eh, 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 eh. One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. Up, down, left, right. A, B, C, start. Like I'm doing a... Like I'm doing a... Oh, my God. Have a taste of democracy. Oh, shit. I reloaded by accident. Oh, my God. They destroyed my cannon. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad, guys. Use a bit of a grenade there. And that tricky little bagger. So they are kind of coming in thick and fast. Oh shit, looks like our deathless run is going out the window right now. Uh. So I will say, when the new patch did go live on the first day, there were some problems, a few crashes, a few graphical abnormalities that were apparent. Uh, it did have a hot fix and now things seem a lot better um, we are probably going to have to do a resupply here we're not going to we're not going to be able to supply democracy without ammo there they come we've not actually unlocked all the equipment available on the patch which is a shame I would have liked to have gone through a lot of that Jesus. So, one thing I've noticed for sure, it seems to run a little bit better. The crashes are a lot less infrequent, if you pardon. Uh, sort of the first day of the patch went live, but there were a few issues there. Um, but apart from that, overall stability nice has been a little bit better. Uh, shit. Out of my French. Freedom forever. So I think overall it's a great, great little, uh, great little patch. And moving forward, I am interested to see what the future of this game holds. I think it has a really bright future in front of it. It's been really, really well accepted by the gaming community as a whole, and I think it's definitely here to stay. It's kind of strange because there has been other games sort of, oh my God, kind of like, oh no, we never did it without dying. I'm sorry. So we've had kind of like looter shooters before and stuff like that and extraction shooters. And this is kind of neither or it's quite a linear concept. It's not, um, there's no real sort of, there is leveling, but the game is very, very different to say Destiny 2 or... Oh, see, there's one of the graphic abnormalities that we're talking about. Uh, it's very different to say, like, Destiny 2 and stuff like that. It is a little bit of a unique one on its own. I am looking at what they're going to add down the road, if they're going to add more progression systems per se, which I think... They really should. So we're just lobbing grenades for days here. Because we're getting our ass absolutely smacked. But we are 1v the world. Oh, we're dead again. We're only at 60% here. I don't know if it's doable, but we are on quite a difficult setting. And they have disabled crossplay to see if a mission like this, which was totally impossible before is a little bit more palatable now i've got to admit oh shit i've just killed myself I'm just throwing a grenade at my own face <laughs> it is definitely a little bit more palatable a little bit easier um whether it's viable playing this sort of difficulty on your own um hmm, questionable very questionable if you're the type of person that really enjoys the challenge then possibly 
Um, we've got 58 seconds before we can actually get our oh, way up. We've found our old stuff here. Pick up these. And we've got our stalwart back. So we're back on form, guys. We've just called down an orbit laser. Famine. The laser of democracy. The great day for democracy. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Right, let's get this uh, stalwart reloaded here. Kill 33. Bugs. Try and finish these little shits off. Kill them all! Kill them all! I hope to god this don't get demonetized. I swear a lot in the game, swears a lot and. You know what it is, you know, it's all good, it's all good. It's all good, man. I'm sure we shall be fine. We've actually got to 90% so we might... Oh no, the Iron Storm's kicked in. Oh, what a bastard. We did... Oh no, we're out of bullets as well. And they're coming in thick and fast, boys. Oh, shit. So like I said, prior to the patch, this kind of difficult here was just it was completely impossible i mean literally i tried doing one on this difficulty i think i lasted about 10 seconds like legit uh 10 seconds and i had one life left and i just ended up leaving the mission uh it was just totally impossible i tried doing a video like soloing harder difficulties and it just backfired it was just an absolute mess uh i would not recommend it uh we can get this cannon down and actually get it Oh shit. So we have managed to do this. We can actually get a little bit of a resupply on the go. Shit. Oh no, not like this, not like this. No, 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 no. Oh yes. But democracy. Let's go! And we've actually managed to do it, so I'm well pleased with that. Let's go! So let's go and collect our goodies and just share some actual live gameplay because I've done the patch and all, so I just wanted to put some up. Actually shows how I feel about the actual patch in action. So, definite improvements in gameplay. Movement's a little bit better, a little bit less clunky. You don't get stuck on things as often. Uh, the crashing has gone less. Uh, when the patch first went live, it was increased, but now it's generally better than since launch. Uh, it's definitely improved. Uh, the balance changes to the weapons from what I've seen so far are fantastic. The only thing is these really awkward graphical abnormalities that we're seeing with the aliens stretching up the screen, and hopefully they can patch that out soon enough. But the game team seem very, very dedicated to this title and the community and there seems to be a real general buzz around the game of like-minded gamers having a great time together slaying bugs and killing robots and fighting for mankind and there we go boom baby so we made it back in one piece to the forerunner of freedom so i hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a look at live gameplay into the new patch i just thought i'd stick some up to go along with the patch notes that i did and hopefully i can come up with some more hell divers content maybe some higher end gameplay once i get there my time has been a little bit tied up with the youtube channel with doing the uh, final fantasy rebirth let's play other things have been going on it's all coming together, so stick with the channel. And if you're not a member already, or you're not currently subscribed, uh, consider doing so. We're on the uh, push to 500 subs, and we're very nearly driver. there. And uh, nothing will make me happier than hitting my first 500 subs. It's been a long road, and I've worked really hard. And I hope uh, you enjoyed today's content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.